Alrighty, so today we are opening two boxes of SpongeBob cards. This is the last box I have for now. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so here we go. Here is box number one. As you can see, it has a really cool texture to it. It is actually made like this with a 3D effect of it being embossed or embossed, however you'd like to pronounce it. And um, it gives it such a cool look. I'm hoping the cards inside are as cool as the box. Um, and this is one of the first ones to actually have a company name on it. So I'm not sure if that makes it any more legit than any other ones. And here it's also on the back. And uh, I honestly can't remember what cards are in this because I've opened so many. There has been at least seven sets. Um, there's still one I have not received yet. Um, I'm gonna probably eventually get it just so I can have all of them. But as you can see, the box opens up. It has this really cute design inside. Um, if you're old like me, you might have remembered pencil boxes like this back in the day. Um, before plastics and all that good stuff, we actually had cardboard um, pencil boxes to put your pencils in at school. So that uh, tells you how old I am. And inside... We have a bunch of regular packs, and then we have this special one. Um, that seems to be the theme to a lot of these sets. As you can see, it has a nice lining. I like these a lot better because when they're shipped, you have a lot more protection. So we're going to go ahead and put that box aside. We'll wait on this one. So let's go ahead and start opening our packs. They are very nice looking. Let's see if I can get these open without scissors. Oh, looks like I can, so that's good. Ooh, already I'm impressed. This is definitely something different than anything else I've seen. Lord of the Kelp Forest. And it has some incredible details. You can see all that fancy... Refractor, even his little loincloth is a refractor. Wow, these are beautiful. There's only apparently two per pack, which is kind of odd. However, these cards are very thick. Like, you're not going to easily bend this. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, uh, just like all the other ones, they use... Uh, their numbers on the front rather than the back like United States. Um, it's probably hard to see on camera, but there's some unique spiral patterns on the flower. And this is a Japanese design, I believe, by um, a very well-named known artist. But as you can see, these all have quite a few different cool effects on them. I'm hoping this set doesn't have a ton of cards in it because... Um, with only two per pack. You know what? I'm going to have to use the scissors. Um, I know I'm a weakling and I can't open them. Uh, but here we go. Yeah, these are literally cardboard. These aren't, uh, these aren't traditional cards. So that is really nice. This is an SSR, as you can see. That was what that one was also. Actually, let's go ahead and separate these. Um, so we have those, and I do have, like I said, two boxes of these, so, um, this is a CP card, and then that is the back, so that's a totally different card, and this is the last two boxes I have of Spongebob for a bit. Um, here's another cool comic card. Absolutely beautiful. And here is another, what looks to be a puzzle card. And uh, these are very fancy. And uh, even the back. So I'm assuming that's a puzzle. It even has a, it's hard to explain and show you on camera. There's some quite unique stuff on these cards. Um, I wasn't expecting them to be so thick. 
Not that that's a bad thing, but uh, I would kind of like more cards per pack or box, I should say. Wow, look how beautiful this card is. And then there's another puzzle one. Oddly, this particular puzzle doesn't have a number on it whatsoever. And then this does. So, well, for now, we'll put that there. Um, I, I haven't found anything to top the... Uh, if you got to see my other video, I pulled this gem card which was pretty incredible. I haven't seen anything to top that yet, although these designs are beautiful. I will give them that. This is a crazy design. Beautiful, beautiful cards. If I can get this one apart here. Wow. Look at that. These are very impressive. Impressive. Most impressive. I always have that Vader sound in my head all the time. You are. You are. There isn't a you are. I enjoy all these different subsets, but trying to get them all is a little uh, challenging. I went and bought a big binder today for my Disney cards. Um, I went to Walmart because I had to pick up an order anyways. And... Um, I found a bunch of really cool Disney stuff and I almost cried because I had to put it all back on the shelf because I didn't have any money. I only had enough to buy a binder. How sad is that? So there is a CP card. Kind of an interesting design and artwork. It has a cool cross hatch design on it. That's a CP. CP. So that's CP. And here is another comic. I noticed they use comics a lot. But this is uh, unlike any other one I've seen before. It's an SSR. Here is Sandy with some nuts. Ah, uh, nuts. I don't know what about this year, but um, we have had so many acorns. Uh, the people who live across the street from us have a bunch of trees that... Um, Acorns just fall off like rain. It literally just, you hear them bouncing all over the place and they land in our yard. And so I, I took them and chopped them all up and gave them to our chickens to eat. And also I made a giant pile to give to the squirrels and the deer. And within a few days, they were all gone. There's Weasel again. Weasel. That's it. And here's Sandy again. I guess Sandy gets her own little special set. There's another Sandy. Sandy Cheeks. You are. You are awesome, Sandy. I definitely would like some more of these. These are really cool. It's so it's so hard though. I need to finish the other sets. Um, this looks like something interesting coming up. SpongeBob. That's a crazy drawing. It's SSR. Ooh, look at that. It's a Bikini Bottom official identification card. It's Gary the Snail. I'm not sure Gary, does Gary drive? It expires, um, oh, I gotta read this. Is this correct? Um, I know that it's back backwards in some countries. So it's, is it 2003? Or is it, uh, I'm not sure how to read this one. But that is really cool. Looks like it has a little... Boy, I will say they must really love SpongeBob in, in Asia. Um, that's a totally different card. But this is absolutely crazy. And you know the sad thing? I've been trying to edit videos like crazy. And the app I use, I mean, it's not meant for heavy-duty stuff, I guess. And it is on my phone. But it can't handle... If you've noticed in my newer videos, I had a lot of effects and stuff. It can't handle those. And so when I try to export, it it's, it the crashes or restarts. And it's very annoying. So I'm trying to find something I can learn easily. And uh, that still works really good and isn't it crazy expensive. Um, so I, I've looked at a few different ones. I used to use Premiere a, a long time ago, but... 
Um, my brain is not up to the par to that stuff anymore. I have difficult difficulty learning um, due to my strokes I've had and whatever the hell else is going on with my brain. There's another one, number 38. And kind of scary. It is plankton. All right. So that is it for our first box. Um, I'm going to put those aside. We're going to wait on this pack. I'm going to open the second box. So let's go ahead and open these. We'll put this one here. And then we'll open the rest of these. And uh, I've been collect uh, collecting and keeping these boxes. Um, I'm going to use them. Well, I already am using one of them actually to put my paintbrushes and pencils and stuff in. That's a creepy card. Love the purple on that though. And there's another one. But uh, this is a lot of fun. What do you think of this set? Do you like it? It's a lot of air in these packs. Ooh, that's a little, little, I'm a little behind on opening some things. This would have been great for Halloween just a few weeks ago, or a week ago, actually. Um, and then here is another CP card. That goes right there. But, uh, yeah, if I'm able to ever get some money, maybe we'll get some more of these. Um... I need to start doing some lives where I can get donations. LOL. Um, so I can. You are another UR co card. And these packs are very um, fluffy. Like they have a lot of air in them. I guess to protect them. This is one of the first uh, squared corner sets I've seen in a bit. A lot of um, sets have been squared. I mean rounded edges. My wife's finally back to work. She got to go back to work t uh, Monday. Oh, that's really cool for Christmas time. And wow, look at that. That is an SP. That is wild. So much going on in this card. It is absolutely beautiful. So nice. SP. Um... I think that's our first one. Uh, we're going to just put you right there. I don't know what that is. It doesn't have any letter on it. Actually, you know what? I think that actually goes right there now that I see them all. So we'll put that dude up there. I would like some more of the licenses. If I can find what's all in this set, I will post it at the end of this video so you can see all the cards included. Some of them are really difficult to find all the information, but I will do my best to let you know. But uh, I, I strongly, highly recommend this set. Um, it's beautiful. Um, like I said, I'm hoping there's not a ridiculous amount of cards you have to get to make this set. Because, uh, I'm not sure. You can only buy so many things. And, uh, when one doesn't have a job anymore. Uh, yeah. Uh, of course we got a dupe. That one's cute, CP. I'm wondering if those, um, are, uh, numbered or what type of special card they are. I absolutely love the, I'll show you, I'll post, a, if you haven't watched all these, try to watch some of my other Spongebob ones. There are some incredible um, insert cards. There is one, um, two of them I got in another set that were plastic and they were beautiful. It was a very interesting way to print cards. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Kawaii. This is the first time I think their name's on something. And you can tell whatever that this card is. Um, you can tell it was from a not very good digital file. You can see the blurred. 
And no, I'm not supporting this type of, uh, if, if it's not an official thing, I will say that um, I'm not, like, buying them directly from the people, so they're going to get bought no matter what. I know that may not make sense, but that's my logic. <laughs> um, so, apparently, these two are totally different. Uh, they have different backs on them. I don't con condone, I mean, or... Uh, uh, promote any bad behaviors, but, uh, hey, I, I really do enjoy them. It's very cute. Last pack, except for until our other ones. Ooh, that one is really cool. Look at that. Go coin. As you can see, a cat is meowing at my door, and I'll have to let her in. Alrighty, back to our cards. Let's finish up with our last two. These are the last two that we have. And it feels like there's only one card in each one of these. That's kind of a bummer. Um, but uh, let me see if I can open this. I kind of want to save this package. Um, uh, maybe not. I wanted to try to get this open so I could keep the... There we go. A little bit. There we go. Alrighty. So here we go. Kind of an odd insert. It's a PR card. Um, I guess we don't have any PR cards. I'm not quite sure why that's so special, but yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put that there and we will open this last one. And sadly, this is the only cards I have left around me to open except for a cool holiday Toy Story box that I want to open soon. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that video. Wow, now this one's beautiful. However, um, I know who did this artwork and I'm going to ask him. I'm pretty certain the answer is gonna be no that he did not give the rights to it. But I will say this is an impressive card. Um, you can see, I saw this in the advertisement and I'm like, if this is the same artist, I'll have to check with him. This is really beautiful. And then that's the back. So uh, that is super cool. I'm going to put this one, if this is an LPR, I'm going to put this in a sleeve so I do not wreck this one. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these. I had a f real a lot of fun opening these. Um, we did get some dupes, but not horribly bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eventually put all these together and put them in um, a big binder, a big yellow binder, which I'm going to then put SpongeBob on the front. Um, I'd already bought one, but the box, I mean, the... Uh, book was too small now to put all the pages in since I've opened, uh, like I said, almost seven sets now. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and like this video. And feel free to comment. I love talking to you guys. Um, I don't see a lot of comments. Uh, randomly, I do. But it's nice to hear from you. And uh, if you uh, ever purchase any of these yourself and need any help uh, getting some cards, just let me know and I'll do my best to help you. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.